I understand completely why they don't like this version of Brexit. I didn't like it either. But unless the Conservative Party is going to change its mind and go to a sort of soft Brexit that doesn't require borders anywhere, some kind of arrangement of this kind is going to be necessary. And it seems to me that Rishi Sunak has got about as good a deal off the EU as it's going to be possible to get. The Prime Minister is set to meet European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in Berkshire this lunchtime and the pair are expected to release the details of the deal at a press conference this afternoon. The Commission President will also meet the King for tea at Windsor Castle. Joining me now is Lord Gavin Barwell, the former Conservative MP and Chief of Staff to Theresa May when she was struggling to get her Brexit deal through Parliament. Uh, Gavin, thank you very much for joining me. You were in the room when Theresa May was trying to to sell a deal to a group of MPs with wildly different opinions. Uh, How difficult Uh, do you think it's going to be for Rishi Sunak to get this over the line? Do you feel that there is momentum? I hope so. I mean, he's he's taking a political risk and I admire him for doing that because this problem needs sorting out. I think that the early signs are quite encouraging. If you look at the reaction of some of the senior Conservative Brexiteers uh, this morning, the real test has got to be whether he can get the DUP to at least acquiesce in the deal and get them back into government in uh, Stormont. Because we're obviously, we've had a number of months now where Northern Ireland has had no government, and that is not a tenable position to continue. So that is going to be one of the acid tests for whether this deal uh, works or not. Indeed, but do you think the DUP matter as much now as they did when Theresa May was trying to get her deal over the line? Um, you know, where, where do you think that the compromise is now? So I don't think they matter in terms of the Prime Minister's ability to do the deal. Uh, obviously, Theresa didn't have any majority in the House of Commons, which was what made her task impossible. Mm-hmm. But the Prime Minister has a good majority now, so he can get his deal through. But ultimately, one of the things that he wants to achieve with this deal is to get the institutions of the Good Friday Agreement restored um, as soon as possible, because it's not in the interest of the people of Northern Ireland to have no government. So in that sense, the DUP's reaction to this deal really does matter. And I hope that, let, let me just say, I understand completely why they don't like this version of Brexit. I didn't like it either. But unless the Conservative Party is going to change its mind and go to a sort of soft Brexit that doesn't require borders anywhere, some kind of arrangement of this kind is going to be necessary. And it seems to me that Rishi Sunak has got about as good a deal off the EU as it's going to be possible to get. So if the DUP won't go back into government on the basis of this, then they are condemning the people of Northern Ireland to no government for a prolonged period of time. Indeed. Gavin Barwell, former Chief of Staff to Theresa May, thank you very much indeed for joining me.